Hello, I'm Tammy Taylor, president of Tammy Taylor Nails, and today I'm so excited to demonstrate for you my brand new Valley of Flowers Prisma Powder collection. And this collection was inspired by the Valley of Flowers in West Himalaya, India, where the flowers are starting to bloom this time of year. And I have four beautiful colors for you. Blue Poppy, Red Marigold, peach zinnia and himalaya now let's get started i will be demonstrating all four colors blue poppy a teal blue with shimmer red marigold a red coral with shimmer peach zinnia a pinky peach with shimmer and himalaya a soft beige with a touch of shimmer along with crystal clear acrylic s set nail liquid top gel plus clean it all natural gardenia conditioning cuticle oil, wipe it, and towelettes. Sanitize your hands and your client's hands with peach or gardenia sanitize. Now I'm going to etch the nails with the 100 grit purple terminator etcher stick. Go with the way the nail grows. Get all the shine off the nail. Etching the nail properly will eliminate 75% of all lifting. Make sure there's no shine. Now I'm going to push back the cuticle with the trigium stone. Make sure there's no skin grown up on the nail as this also can cause lifting. Dust off the nails with the plastic manicure brush. Prime the nails with non-lifting nail primer. Use it very sparingly. Prime the whole nail. Apply your nail forms. Put a curve in your form. Place this curve under the free edge. Stick down the sides, stick down your wings, secure the form. Put a curve in your form, place this curve under the free edge, stick down your sides, stick down the wings, secure your form. I'm going to reprime each nail right before I apply the acrylic so the primer is wet when I apply the acrylic. I will be applying the peach zinnia. Dip your brush into your liquid, wipe away from you, drag towards you, get your ball, place this ball onto the free edge area, let it flow, pat it out, bring up your sides, Pat it out, bring up your sides. Get it just how you like it. Clean up the tip of the free edge. Wipe off your brush, dip your brush in, wipe it away. Drag towards you. Get your ball, place this ball halfway down the nail bed. Let it flow. Stroke it out, side, side, center. Wipe off your brush. Dip your brush in, wipe it away, drag towards you, get a little ball. Place this ball one thirty second of an inch away from the cuticle. Let it flow. Stroke it out, side, side, center. Wipe off your brush. Dip your brush in, wipe it away, drag towards you. This is your fourth ball. Place this ball almost at the cuticle, let it flow, and then stroke it out side, side, center. Wipe off your brush. Now I'm going to be applying blue poppy. Dip your brush in, wipe it away. Drag towards you, 
place this ball on the free edge area, let it flow, pat it out, bring up your sides, pat it out, bring up your sides. Get it just how you like it, clean up your tip. Wipe off your brush, dip your brush in, wipe it away, drag towards you. Place this ball halfway down the nail bed, let it flow, stroke it out, side, side, center. Wipe off your brush, dip your brush in, wipe it away, drag towards you. Place this ball one thirty-second of an inch away from the cuticle, let it flow, stroke it out, side, side, center. On the darker colors, I'm going to seal the color with crystal clear acrylic. Dip your brush in, wipe it away, drag towards you. Place this ball almost at the cuticle. This would be our fourth ball. Let it flow, stroke it out, side, side, center. Wipe off your brush. Go back, squeeze your C-curve as the nail starting to dry. your second coat of primer. Now I'm going to be applying Himalaya. Dip your brush in, wipe it away, drag towards you, get your ball, place this ball onto the free edge area, let it flow, pat it out, bring up your sides, bring up your sides, Pat it out, get it just how you like it. Bring in the tip, clean up the tip. Wipe off your brush, dip your brush in, wipe it away, drag towards you. Get your ball, place this ball halfway down the nail bed, let it flow, stroke it out, side, side, center. Wipe off your brush, dip your brush in, wipe it away, drag towards you, get your ball, place this ball one thirty-second of an inch away from the cuticle, let it flow, and stroke it out, side, side, center. Wipe off your brush, dip your brush in, wipe it away, drag towards you. This is your fourth ball, place this ball almost at the cuticle area, let it flow, and stroke it out, side, side, center. Wipe off your brush. Squeeze your C-curve. Apply your second coat of primer. Now I will be applying red marigold. Dip your brush in, wipe it away, drag towards you. Get your ball, place this ball on the free edge area, let it flow. Bring up your sides, pat it out, bring up your sides. Get it just how you like it. Clean up your tip. Wipe off your brush, dip your brush in, wipe it away, drag towards you. Place this ball halfway down the nail bed, let it flow, stroke it out, side, side, center. Wipe off your brush, dip your brush in, wipe it away. Drag towards you. This is your cuticle ball. Place this ball one thirty-second of an inch away from the cuticle. Let it flow. Stroke it out. Side, side, center. Wipe off your brush. This is a dark color, so I'm going to be applying the crystal clear acrylic. Dip your brush in. Wipe it away. Drag towards you. Get your clear ball. 
Place this ball almost at the cuticle, let it flow, stroke it out, side, side, center. Wipe off your brush, go back, squeeze your C-curve. Wait for this one to start getting a matte finish to it when it's starting to dry, and then I'll squeeze the C-curve. Now I'm going to file the nails using my 100 grit purple terminator file and my long lasting 180 big zebra file. And I will be filing in five steps. The first step is the left side and I'm going to file straight out from the nail groove. Step number one. And then step number two is straight out from the nail groove on the right. Step number three is shape the tip of the free edge. If I want a square, I hold the file straight up and down and go straight across. If I want a square oval, I slightly angle the file and go across. If I want an oval, I would lay the file almost completely flat and file across. Now I want a square, so I'm going to hold the file straight up and down until the file is flush with that tip and I can't see any space, then I know it's a square. Step number four, file the top of the nail and the cuticle area. Bevel down on the side, across the top, down on the other side. Down on the side, across the top, down on the other side. Using a horseshoe pattern. This way you don't file the nail flat and the nail keeps a nice curve in it. And use nice long strokes. There should be a little road right around the cuticle area where it's acrylic, natural nail, cuticle. I place my file right in this little road and I make it nice and smooth so the acrylic is flush with that natural nail and you can't even feel where the acrylic starts and the natural nail ends. Now we're going to do the fifth step in filing. Turn the nails around from the client's angle and file down towards the tip. This way you get to see everything the client's looking at for the next two weeks. And this is step number five. Now I'm going to buff the nails with my clean finish buffing file. Nice long strokes. This gets all the scratches out of the nail, makes it nice and smooth, and the clean finish leaves no grit on the nail, so it makes it nice and clean. Have the client go wash their hands with antibacterial soft soak and a plastic manicure brush. Now I'm going to apply Top Gel Plus. Nice long strokes, cap the tip, cover the entire nail, cap the tip, Here 30 seconds in the Mighty Mini LED, 
two minutes in a UV or 45 seconds in a regular LED. Clean off the nails with Clean It and a Wipe It. Apply all natural gardenia cuticle oil. Now you have the Valley of Flowers collection. Peach Zinnia, Blue Poppy, Himalaya, and Red Marigold. And remember, at Tammy Taylor Nails, nails are always fun and never feel like work.